channel it's alex michael may i'm so glad you're here if you're new to my channel i hope you like this video i hope you stick around i would love it if you'd comment below and let me know how you found this it's so helpful to know and i'm just so curious how you guys are finding me and if you're a returning bff i'm so glad you're here i'm excited about today's haul i'm always excited about today's haul let's be honest but I'm like eyeing it right now because I, Emily and I laid all out on the sofa before I tried on and all the colors, like we got some big news. We are back into color. I was doing only neutrals for a really long time and I'm just back into like fun, bright colors and it's exciting to like visually see them all lined up and be like, all right, we're moving in a new direction. So that's exciting. And today's haul is one of my often requested i've done it before but you guys always love to see h&m so today we're doing h&m i'm trying on just anything that caught my eye um we've got some dresses we've got some skirts we've got some pajamas oh yeah if you're new to my channel i always list my measurements below i'm around a us size 14 i'm 510 if that's helpful i've got my bra size everything listed below so you know if things fit you as well as linking all the outfits below and all the pieces that i try they'll all be linked below in order and yeah let's just get into it we have three dresses two skirts two shirts two pajama sets i think that's everything but it's a lot first thing i'm trying on uh this is a style that has been a lot of different brands have been doing this style in the past few months. Um, I've been seeing it a lot and I have not gotten on board until now, but it's this like ruched button dress thing. I just thought this one was so cute. Let's see how it fits. My dad's here today. We have a special guest. The, the trash man is here. He's also a special guest. You can hear him applauding in the background. Dad, this is my first um, pick from H&M. I'm not going to give you any context as to what I'm thinking on it and you can... Uh, what do you think? I think the dress is beautiful. I think you're beautiful. But? It's a little tight. Dad thinks it's a little tight. I think it's That's a little- That's a dad perspective. Yeah, I think he's right. We're seeing some button gapping here. There's a lot of gapping. I maybe should get an extra large. I'm wearing a large in this. Generally in H&M, I always wear a large. So uh, either I've grown or this dress is smaller than usual. It could be either way. I think it's the latter. I think you're, you're fine. I think the dress, they made it they made the dress too small. He, he knows what to say. All right, well, that's a great reaction. Bye. I'm sad because I was really excited about this dress and I almost always order a large in H&M. So I don't know if this one just runs a little small or if I'm running a little big right now, which is totally fine too. My parents have been in town and I've been eating so much, but I don't think I'd grow up a size, but it doesn't matter. I think if I had this in an extra large, it'd be better. The main issue I'm having is the gapping here. It's not great here either. Like there is gapping here as well, but it's just not quite as noticeable as it is here. So I think I would need this in an extra large. I'm gonna show you the material though. It's this really pretty like ribbed cotton. It feels really good. Here's the back. It's kind of short. You can kind of pull it and mess with it. So it could be a little bit longer here. Um, here's the side. There's my dad. <laughs> Here's the front. Um, oh, he said hey. Um, so I, I'm bummed because I think this color is really pretty and I think this dress is really pretty. The sleeve length is good. I just don't know if they still have it in stock. Sometimes if I wait, then it, it's out of stock. So I'm bummed. Um, comment below. Let me know if you guys think that I should try to get this in an extra large if you think it's worth trying because I, I think it looks really nice on the body. Again, I'll link everything below, uh, but this is the first piece and I'm wearing a size large. I also got this in a short sleeve green version and I'm pretty sure it's going to fit the same, um, but look how cute these colors are, especially with my pink door. Yay! Everything's good. Um, so I'm going to try this on. <sighs> kind of scared that it's going to fit the same, but it's worth a try. You can be honest, be dead honest. The people will know if you're lying. Come on in, why you gotta be so shy? I love the dress, I love the color, I love the color on you. I oh, think, I think but, it's, oh, it's a little small, dad said. You don't think it's too small? That's a dad thing. No. You don't, come on, you, you saw some girl gapping around. You could put a little hot glue there. <laughs> So this is also a large. For some reason, the gapping on this one is a little less. I think it's because the fabric is a little thinner. I don't know though, it's actually not. That's it weird. seems like it's the same exact fabric, so I'm not sure, but this one does fit a little better. Again, I think maybe an extra large would be better in this dress, maybe because it's designed to fit really bodycon, but I do think it looks good. What do you guys think about the sizing? Um, do you think I should size up to an extra large? Do you just think it doesn't suit me? I think it looks great on the body, like the ruching and everything, like I think it does some, some wonders for the body. This one is a bit sheer, I will say. 
um, you can see like my bra and underwear and every roll and fold and dimple and dot and dash. But uh, I still think it's like really, really cute on. I actually really like the color. It's like a fun summer sherbet color. What do you guys think? All right, now we are going to try this black dress. I just thought it was super cute. It has side cutouts. Um, I don't usually wear black, but I was feeling adventurous. Isn't it funny that for me, black is adventurous? It really is. <laughs> so I want to like this dress. I think the idea of it's fun. I think it creates a really cool silhouette here, but it's a bit boring. Um, the side things make it fun. Um, but my dad deducts points for the side things apparently. But um, you can see your underwear. If you wanted to wear like high-waisted underwear or anything, that's a no. If you want to wear a bra, probs not. So that's the thing is like you just wouldn't wear undergarments with this. And I think it's kind of fun and like unexpected, but it really isn't that special. I don't think you can comment below and let me know what you think. I think it's like cool and fun, but like I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I'm not in love with it and I don't anticipate wearing it. It's a bit boring. Uh, this is a size large though, and I think that this fits really well. So if, if I were to keep this, this, I do think this would be the right size. Um, so hopefully that's helpful as you're sizing things. Obviously I would size up in the previous two dresses, but these this seems like it fits just right. You can adjust the hole a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think it is cute. I don't wear a ton of black, and I just, I'm on the fence. Like I'm not in love with it, so I don't think I'm going to keep it. But would love your opinion. Let me know what you think. Comment below if you think I should keep it or return it. Um, again, I will put the item number or the link below. Okay, then I got this pleated skirt. It's kind of like a chiffon pleaty moment. I used to wear a ton of these back like a few years ago. I felt like this was very my vibe, but I don't really have any skirts like this right now. I do love like the flow. I like how it moves. Um, my thought with this was to wear like a fun, like little crop top or tank and kind of like color block with it um, and make an outfit of it. Seeing it on, I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. I kind of think it's just like, hmm, whatever. I think the movement of it is really fun. It feels really good on. This is a size large again. It has an elastic waist. I will show you the, you can see like the texture of the fabric a little closer up here. It gives me like English teacher. English teacher vibes, Emily says. It reminds me of how I used to dress. I used to do this with like a tee, a colorful tee, like very like, mm -hmm old bandeau kind of style and this just isn't that's just not my style anymore i don't think so i feel like this might be return but i was anticipating seeing it with like kind of a funkier shirt or tank like i'm actually looking for a skirt to go with that zara roughly orange swimsuit top like i want something like i was thinking maybe that but i think the fabrics might be too too clashy yeah, but I don't, so I don't think it quite goes. So I think I'll probably return this one, but it is, I don't know if you're looking, if like this would be really cute if you had to go into the office or something, because you could style it with a button up, you could style it with a t-shirt, you could style it with just like a tank top, you could style it with any number of things. I think it's really, really versatile and I think it's a beautiful color. I think the fabric and material is beautiful. I just don't know if I would keep it because it's, I don't know. I just don't even know how to style it. But anyway, comment below. Let me know if you think I should keep this or not. I do think it's pretty. I will link it below. Here's the back. So in hindsight, I do wish I would have steamed this, but you hopefully can get the picture. Um, I love this. What I like about this skirt is it's really not too short. It is like a cute mini, but it's not like obscenely short, I don't think. Emily thinks it's obscenely short. Obscenely. But do you think, short. well, it does go up in the back a bit. I've just been judged a lot by my mother and everything short, so I'm so very aware I see, of she's, she's traumatized <laughs> by people judging her for shortness. The back, do you think it's on backwards? I will say, the front to me it's looks long fine, long. but the back, like, something's going on. Hello. I think it's so cute other than the fact it's popping up in the back. Well, let's talk about the color. The color is a seafoam perfection. It's just a cute little mermaid moment. I just think it's so pretty. Hello, can I please keep this? Let me show you the back again. Please vote and tell me if you think it's obscene. I do, it is popping up in the, in the back of it. And I don't love that. But do you think if I steamed it, it would be better? I really need some honest answers here. I don't know what to do. This is a size large. I guess I could get it in an extra large, but then I feel like it just would be too, too big because it's already a bit roomy. So if you're curious about this, again, I'm 5'10". So if you're shorter and you don't have such a huge booty, this might be fine for you. Um, but I do think if I got an extra large, it would just be shapeless and too big. So I'm on the fence on this one. I want to try and make it work because I love the color and I think it's so pretty, but the back does keep popping up in an unfortunate way. So let me know what you guys think. Meh.
All right, so obviously I wouldn't wear these pieces together, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to try on this uh, top and I wanted to just see what we thought of it. So um, I think that it's really cute. It fits questionably in the boob area, um, but the little frills are really, really fun. This would be so cute with just like mom jeans or shorts or something like that. And uh, probably just blue denim I think would be the best. Um, but it doesn't uh, probably allow for bra wearing because of the back. So I think obviously, I, the cool thing is that you can tie it as tight as you want to and that should hopefully hold in the boobs. Um, but I haven't tried that yet. But I do think it's really cute. It's also just kind of, I don't know, is it too plain? Plain, I think this is plain. Like I'm getting back to my roots. Watch out 2017, 2018 Alex with all the sequins and all the bright colors because she's coming back. Um, I don't know. I actually, I'm like, what do you think? Honestly, I think it's pretty cute. Imagine it with jeans and stuff. It could yeah, be really cute. Yeah. Is it a keeper? I think so. comment below and let me know if it's a keeper or not. Actually, let's try this on. Should we try it without a bra and see if it works? Let's just do it real quick. Well, we did try it without a bra. So this is it with no bra on. Um, I just had Emily help me <laughs> tie it a little tighter in the back. So if you tie it tighter in the back, I don't think you'd need to wear a bra with it, especially if you're on like a 36 triple DE, if you're around my bra size. It's tough with this skirt, but I really think with just like denim, with just like plain blue jeans, it could be really cute with little heels and a bag. I think it's just a fun. No hurry. <laughs> don't mind him. Obviously, it's a drive my parents to the airport right now. Gotta go. So I think that I'm gonna keep this. Comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know if you wanna see how I'd style it and how it turns out. Let me see if you wanna see more outfit styling videos other than just try-ons, because I would love to uh, help you as best I can, and if it's helpful, let me know. I'm gonna try on, I just have a couple more outfits. Better hurry, because Dad wants to go to the airport. Oh, right, Dad walked through, you missed it, and he said this is his favorite outfit so far, probably because it's the most covered, but bless him, he's my dad, and that's his job. Uh, so, these are like uh, kind of, they're not paper bag really, but they're like pleated slacks. These are actually a 16. I ordered a 14 and a 16. I could try the 14s on, but the 16s I tried on first and they seem to fit really well. I had a feeling that these might run a little snug, um, especially because they don't have any stretch. And I feel like I'm right between sizes. Sometimes if, it, if it's a really constricting slack, a 14, will be a little snug but the 16 will be too big so that's kind of the case here there there is a quite a bit of room here but also that's kind of the style i think these are supposed to be more relaxed so i'm not mad about the 16s in these and i'd probably keep these in the 16 um so if you are um between sizes or you're not sure maybe size up in these just if you want that relaxed kind of fit which is what i'm going for and they styled it with this uh like button up I don't know what this fabric's called, but it's really nice and I think it's nice and airy and I, I just tucked the one side because this is how they had it styled. I just think this is a really cool, like easy, effortless look. It looks really elegant, looks really like chic and high-end and expensive. So I'd probably style this with, it could be cute with just white sneakers or it could be cute with, I think just, I have some pastel blue heels and I think going full, oh my gosh, look. This is the bag I'm using right now. This is from Target, it was $30. And I've been loving it. And I just think like this with those blue heels, like this is a vibe. I think we're gonna keep this whole look. This is so cute. I love it. Yeah, check it out. So um, I'm wearing the top in a size large. It fits perfectly. It's meant to be oversized and it really is. And it's just really drapes perfectly and it looks absolutely effortless. Um, I just feel really cool and stylish in this. So I think I'm gonna keep it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll show you the butt of the pants. Yeah. Comment below, let me know what you think. I think I'm moving into a new vibe, a new style vibe, because I'm really liking this. And it's, she looks very chic. She's chic. I think yeah. she might be moving into a it's chic like mode. Right yeah, maybe she's gonna be more, more business, less pleasure. Got a couple of pajama sets because you guys ask me about pajamas all the time. I am obsessed with the idea of this. When I saw it, I lost it. It's so beautiful and silky and yummy. I love the sleeves, but look at the bottom this is like look at this no i'm so sad they are way too tight i could barely get them over my booty um this is a size large and every time i get any kind of like sweatpants or pants from h&m i usually like you saw the skirts and stuff i usually always get a size large so i don't know if this particular fit or fabric is just running small like 
it's bad i can barely put my hand i'm just bummed because i was so excited to sleep in this look like it's so cute but it's way too tight so it goes to an XL? Okay, I'm gonna reorder these in an XL and I'll let you guys know. I'm just bummed because I love this look. So FYI, if you order this, I'd probably size up because it seems like the construction, just even right here, like it's just not made to accommodate thighs or belly at all um, because it's just the material. So I'm sad, but also I'm gonna order a size bigger. So hopefully that will fit better. Um, I just wanted the instant satisfaction of being able to wear this tonight. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would let you know. I will link this one below if you wanna get it. Um, and I'll probably uh, share it once I get the extra large as well. Okay, so this is almost the, I think this is the exact same cut as far as like the top. This is a little gingham sleep set and this is a size large and this fits fine. There's plenty of extra room here as you can see. These fit great. So it really is a fabric by fabric scenario, um, but I'll show you these. These fit fine. So I would definitely keep these in a large. I am gonna keep these in a large. I actually thought this could be a cute outfit to wear out like i i don't even know is this pajamas or is this an outfit i don't even know i just it's called pajamas okay it's called pajamas but that doesn't mean that we can't use our imagination it's out of stock well i'm keeping it but i will link it below because sometimes you can put your name on a wait list like that's how i got the other pajamas actually that's how i got these as i was on a wait list and then it gave me an email notification and i bought them immediately i just thought this was so cute and i really think due to the fabric that this could be an outfit like the way, like it's like oh, it's a linen feel. Um, is it technically it's linen? Linen and viscose. Oh, it's a linen viscose blend. And the blue ones were the lyocell and polyester. Lyocell is my enemy. Yeah, lyocell, lyocell and polyester was is not forgiving. I'm learning. I just actually think that I would wear this little linen outfit as an outfit. I think I would wear it unbuttoned with a lot of cute gold necklaces, um, and then wear it with cute little, maybe even like heels and a fun bag. So I'm gonna just try and style this as clothes. That'll be my challenge. Should we do a video styling pajamas as clothes? Um, I don't know, I'm just messing with it now, but I really like it. Let me show you what it looks like out. This is just really, this would be like the nap dress. Like you could sleep in it, you could wear it out. You could easily just wear this top tucked into jeans or shorts. You could undo this button and tie it and wear it with something. You could style the shorts separately with like, um, just like a button up, like a linen button up or a plain button up. Like this has so many options. So I think if you can add your name to the wait list to find out if this one comes back in stock because I'm so happy I got it. Uh, yeah. And that is my H&M haul. I guess I call it like late summer H&M haul. Um, again, my measurements are below. I'll let you know what size I got and everything below and I'll link everything below. Um, yeah, I think it's just helpful to try different sizes. Obviously things run wildly different. So don't feel bad about it. It's not you, it's not your body, it's the clothes. And we are not made to fit clothes, clothes are made to fit us. So don't forget that. If you're new to my channel, let me know how you found this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, hit that subscribe button, that little bell, so you never miss a video. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. And I'd love to know what you want to see because I'd love to make videos that suit you guys and what you're looking for. And if you haven't yet followed me over on Instagram, I do day-to-day -day stories there, different try-ons, talk about my dating life, more personal stuff. And you can slide up in the DM, say hello. It's always nice to get to have conversations with you guys over there. It's a little more personal. I love the comments here too, but it's really awesome to get to know you guys one-to-one. -one. And if you haven't followed me on tiktok i'm alex michael may over there as well and i do more short form fashion content so i'll probably be styling out a lot of these pieces into outfits of the day showing how to style etc over there and i hope that you check that out follow along if you're a returning bff thank you so much for watching again this has been the best summer ever and largely in part to growing the community here and just having so much fun chatting with you guys about fashion and lifestyle and dating and all that stuff so thanks for being here and i'll catch you guys on the next video bye